Hey guys, stepping over here to the mulberries right here that were grafted. Just a little bud on that one right down there that's starting to break. There's some on the end right over here too. Right there. So they're starting to probably be leafing out by next week. Grafted cherries. That bud's showing more green right here on that little one, and that one's really starting to come out right there. Next week, that'll maybe have some good growth on it. The, um, the willows in there are really putting out growth. Let's see right along there. There's a great. There's one of the great vines right there. That's uh, gotten leafing out. See, oh, there's a bigger one right behind it, kind of right back there. A lot of willows along this side. Some of the grapes you can see are swelling with those yellowish, orangish right there. I'm kind of doing an experiment. <laughs> kind of leaving these like I've stuck them and they're in full sun. Leaving them like I stuck them. I mean, just that uh, I'm not knocking any of these buds off you can see like on um usually starts with one main bud like like there's the top bud on there usually the top one too comes out first and then there's like a secondary bud in the middle of that one right there for the grapevine and um so i'm just going to leave them on these and see how they do and uh so these are in full sun similar type bed planted amongst the willows just like over there but these will be in full sun I'm gonna leave the um, leave the uh, the buds on there. Sorry, I couldn't think of the word there for a second. And um, that one's really big, swollen back in there. So we'll see how they do compared to the ones that are more in the shade for the afternoon and evening. And uh, and removing all, I removed all the buds, but the lower ones on most of those back in the back. So it'll be interesting to see when it one helps so I can hopefully use that for the future nothing leafing out right here yet with the figs none of these peach seedlings that were over here are sprouting yet that I can see these were planted um, earlier maybe about a month ago or so earlier this year um, not seeing anything yet from them however these peach seeds seedlings seeds are um, were planted uh, last year in the midsummer kind of as soon as pretty much as soon as uh, the squirrels ate most of them and piled them up on the ground for me um, I stuck them over in here and um, as you can see there are a ton of that are coming up. I planted a ton. I planted them really close together, only probably like three, three or so inches apart. Um, and right now I'm counting. Uh, let's see, let me see if I can kind of zoom down on the top. It'll be a little harder to see. Actually, let me come back from the side. <laughs> Go around here. So that's one right here, and they're growing like. Crazy. I just looked at these like yesterday and they were like barely anything. That's some, uh, let me pull back some of this stuff, sorry. <laughs> that's, uh, that's one right there. That's another one beside it right there. That's one right there, just coming up. Like they look, these look like uh, that like a day or two ago. So they're like growing like crazy. Um, nothing growing against among that. I should probably clip that out <laughs> so that they have space to grow there's a fire ant mound uh, on top of here so maybe that'll help keep some critters from bothering it too uh, I don't think there'll be an issue though with this gator I'm gonna... let's see on to this side that's one right there ooh hello Mr. B <laughs> I think I might have gotten too close to his little home <laughs> and there's uh, there's ones right there those other two are in the background right there that we're looking on the other side and uh let's see i think i saw a few more there's one right here 
see what else we can find. You might can find them better than me, probably. Oh, there's a big one right here. This one right here, maybe in the first one that came up. But it has, uh, I don't know if the terminal bud on it died. It may have come up really early, so it, uh, you know, the the top bud, which is the terminal bud, I think that's the correct terminology right off the top of my head. But, um, you can see, like, this little young shoot coming up right there. That's what they look like when they first first come up, that really light green. And they grow crazy fast. And, um, but, yeah, the, with the damage, you know, it could have been damaged by the cold. You know, it could have been something else or it could just be you know not a very hardy seedling that would do well here so you know just let it naturally die out or stop growing and it'll be you know um, outgrown by the competing ones you know in the rest of the bed so kind of just letting the ones you know that do the best do the best in the it's pretty healthy soil right here it's been covered by uh, like a leaf cover like down here and it's kind of hayish grass, long long grass, and other plant clipping, the diversity of that. Um, so the soil is pretty healthy, but it's not like it's been super, uh, super developed you know, for a while. It's just pretty much a few months coverage. But the soil kind of back here is, is generally healthy for the most part. So um, yeah, excited to see how those turn out and do. And uh, really excited to see them uh, coming up and doing so well. I think that's the biggest one right here. It's right there. It's looking really healthy so far, so hopefully they'll continue to keep on doing good. I'll see you guys in the next video.